small, just a small video. Just come off down off there after leaving Middle Down Reserve. This is another reserve here with the swallow, with the pothole, with the ditch and the shed. I just video a bit. I haven't done a lot of videoing because I'm pacing. Basically, when you've got to catch a bus, it sort of dominates the last part of your walks a lot. Unfortunately, when you've got your own vehicle, you never have to worry about it. Don't even have to think. Just keep an eye on if it's getting dark, and that's about it. There we are, a type of swallow. It's probably got a name, it's probably on the map. Now today, I can't see any cows. That may, don't mean there ain't any, any the other side of that gate. But it could be we can get through, that they're all up in the farm. Sunnier weather, they might be higher up. There we go, that's a pothole. I can remember walking over here. A month ago, on it? <clears throat> and I had to climb up high, climb over some barriers to get away from the cows. Yeah. I had to. Oh, it's quite warm now. It is when you're out of the wind. Now. If it happens to be like there was the last time, cows the other side, just beyond that, where you can't see, I'll have to climb up there and get over up the top. There is a way around. But it's easier if I can just do it this way. It is easier. I always say though, that <coughs> little bit of fast walking won't hurt, it actually it's good for you as well. They used to call me where I was into my running and training for marathons and half marathons. We did have coaches sometimes and lots of instructions on how to train. And the thing we used to do is called fart deck and you would be jogging and then a set of lampposts would come up and we suddenly have to like run as fast as we can between each lamppost. We do a series of them and then back to the slow jog again. It's supposed to help build up your cardiovascular system. Of course, I used to do swimming, a lot of swimming. I was good at swimming. Front crawl, bilateral front crawl. And uh, I did the uh, first ever Reading half um, triathlon. I trained with triathletes. They were just ordinary people like me and you. Oh, look, there's a little style I never noticed before. I already come this way. There's a little style. Fancy that. I've never, ever had to do this. No sign of a cow either. Don't mean there ain't just down there, though. I'll get over the stile, I think. It seems a bit easier than going that way. Let's put the camera there. While we get over the stile. A giddy old thing, isn't it? I've never been over this one. I think it was probably in the better shape one. I've only got short legs. <sighs> right. So far, not a sign of a cow. Otherwise, I have to go up, up there. <sighs> they might be at the top. Because it's sunny, they've got a lot of land, these cows have. And um, it's more than likely that they're, they could be around the corner. They were last time, I had to go up there. Mend it, pals. 
those are the sort of walks I'll be doing when the season of the cow starts. Now I'm just going to have a nice, hopefully, leisurely walk back to Cheddar and hopefully get the 20, 19 minutes past four. I haven't looked at the clock yet. Um, I'm not going slow, but I've only got little legs. They don't actually stretch very far, when, even when you're walking fast. Not a cow in sight. I wonder why that is. God, I haven't walked past here for ages. Of course, I could be in the field I'm going to go in. There's a little um, drinking pallet there. Drinking pan, I mean. That's handy for them. The style of the gate I've got to get through is just straight down here. If I have to, for any reason, have to make a big diversion now, I definitely won't make the four o'clock because I'd have to go, or 20 past four, because I'd have to go up and do a big diversion. At the moment, there's not a cow in sight. Not even any cow pack, which is weird. Yeah. Mind you, you've got to think about it. It's a month ago. I came this way because I went down the West Mendip Way two weeks ago. I didn't come this way at all. It was a month ago I came here and I had to come down over that way. I had to climb up by the lime count and go down that through there. But you can't even see any cow pack. Do you think they've been around picking it up? It's weird that, isn't it? Loads of sign of cow. Hoof, hoof prints. Loads of it. And quite recent. Look how deep that one is. Uh -huh. Well, we've got a little stall to climb over again into Bubwith Acres Nature Reserve. Bubwith. go. Like I said, this last part of the walk is always a little bit rushed if you're catching a bus. Lovely view though, isn't it? Crooks Peak, Brent Knoll, Reservoir, Shoot Shelf Hill, and down, down, down we go now into the lovely village of Cheddar. Right, over and out.